Hello friends, today I will introduce raw materials, components and electronics for gold recovery. To make gold, you must find the gold that is hidden by the various pieces. This piece I found from an old circuit board. It has a circuit board made of ceramic. Of course, this type of equipment often uses gold as an electrical circuit and has gold wire. I must say that this kind of equipment gives a lot of gold when compared to weight. In this type of equipment you may need to disassemble the enclosed parts in order to see inside. If you come across electronics made from ceramics you found gold. You will see that the circuit is made of gold and has gold wire. Old-fashioned dick chips, sometimes you may not find gold wire, but beneath it is usually coated with gold. But getting a small amount of gold. Old-fashioned dick chips, sometimes you may not find gold wires and components made of gold. We therefore need to check well before buying. Sourcing your electronic scrap will also be something that you need to plan in advance of startup. While electronics have precious metals, it's in teeny tiny amounts, so you need a lot of scrap to make this venture worthwhile. Similarly, with the need to have labor on the inbound and the outbound, the commodity produced will not cover 100% of your costs, so you will need to establish the right fee to support your operations. The final problem is that gold is used very judiciously. Only selectively plated to contact points and in plating thicknesses measured in micro inches. If I recall 5 or 20 micro inches is a common thickness. So there's not much in most modern boards. A lot more was used in the 60s and 70s when most electronics was industrial and not consumer stuff. The CPU computer is the focus of gold recovery. But don't believe the amount of gold you get from material vendors. From my work, the Intel Pentium Pro CPU doesn't have a lot of gold in comparison to the weight. I get no more than 3 grams of gold per 1 kilogram of CPU Intel Pentium Pro. We observe the inside of the CPU. Do not use gold wire to connect and the size of CPU Intel Pentium Pro is big and heavy or gold may be hidden in ceramic. Please advise me. CPU Cirex M2 microprocessor was originally released in 1996. Inside you will see many gold wire beneath the die coated with gold. The top cover is gold plated. Various amplifiers Most amplifiers consist of gold. Gold plated exterior surface The interior uses gold wire or maybe aluminum. From my work, I get 8 to 25 grams of gold per 1 kilogram weight. It gives a very high amount of gold and should not be overlooked. Spring test probe or spring connector pins are usually located at the connection points of electronic circuits. 
It is a good raw material for gold recovery and can get a lot of gold. We noticed that the outside and inside were gold plated. From my work I get 4 to 35 grams of gold per 1 kilogram of weight, depending on the size of the pins. Some people call gold fingers. Electronic circuits have a PCB to connect to the connector. There is an interesting amount of gold plated. You may have to use patience to separate this part. Printed circuit boards PCBs, form an important component of e-waste. PCBs typically comprise non-metals, plastics, epoxy, resins, and glasses, and metals, mainly copper, tin, iron, lead, and nickel, with parts per million concentrations of precious metals. Several of these metals may be present at significantly higher levels than conventional ore deposits, making PCBs a particularly interesting resource for recycling. Several of these metals may be present at significantly higher levels than conventional ore deposits, making PCBs a particularly interesting resource for recycling. It is immediately apparent that the metal value of e-waste is dominated by the precious metal content, especially gold and palladium. Only in materials relatively deficient in precious metals does copper make a significant contribution. The value of the other metals is generally low. As the precious metal content of different e-waste streams is so variable, the overall metal value also varies. Intel Pentium 4 inside the metal CPU cover. If you separate this part you will see there is gold plated. And sometimes may not have gold. A crystal oscillator is an electronic oscillator circuit that uses the mechanical resonance of a vibrating crystal of piezoelectric material to create an electrical signal with a precise frequency. Crystal oscillator is used to generate clock pulses required for the synchronization of all the internal operations. Microprocessor, microcontroller. Crystal oscillator is an electronic component that uses a lot of gold to produce. You will see gold plated on the outside, inside with gold circuits and gold wire as a good raw material for gold recovery. You can find gold from different electronic devices. Sometimes you will be amazing with the gold you receive and where you can find gold from different materials in electronic devices. I just want to share my experience with everyone. And may be useful. Sometimes you may not be successful. Think of a learning experience. Good luck to you.
I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.